Yo guys, what's up and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we have a brand new season. It is season 5 and we are ready to crack into this. Icon swaps are here. It's going to be our very first icon swaps on this account. So I'm very excited for that. There's a lot of good guys on offer. Um, as you can see, we already actually claimed two of these and that's because I started a recording and then I realized I wasn't actually recording the video. So unfortunately, that um, the gold pack isn't shown, but that doesn't really matter. We didn't get anything out of it. But today we have a jumbo premium gold pack um, to open, as well as some other packs. We got the Maldini as well, so we're going to start on those objectives. We're just going to take whatever Tifo, because it's not going to get into uh, into our actual stadium theme, because I don't really like any of these. But uh, yeah, Icon Swaps is here, Prime Icon Moments, there's so many of them in this new batch, so I'm really hoping that we could secure one of them. Right now only 12 are out and 4 of those are offline, so we can only do the offline of course with this series. So unfortunately, we are going to have to wait till the second batch of objectives comes out for Icon Swaps, but uh, we will be working towards that. We have six legendary matches that I've been doing. I've already been grinding these. So six legendary matches for a full 11 of Brazilian. And then we have five world-class matches for 11 Japanese, um, a full Japanese squad, a full Conobol squad, and a full Liga NOS squad. So I am working on those, as you can see right here. I have two from the Samba squad and then two from the Liga NOS. And then I have to be honest, it, these are going to be tough because right now we only have like maybe five Japanese players and we have maybe six Konumbo players. We can't buy them off the market and play. That's the whole point of this series. It's got to be first owner. First owner. So we got to keep these guys in the club. Don't submit them to an SBC. I've been doing the week one silver already and I should have this win three matches, but I just got absolutely cheesed out of a win by dynamic difficulty slash scripting. I don't know what the hell it was, but it's so annoying and I just got out of this game. 4-3, it was 90th plus 3, and I lost. I lost in a matter of moments. They scored two goals in the 90th plus 3rd minute, and it went over to 90 plus 5 instead of 90 plus 3 because I don't know what the refs are on these days in FIFA. And even before that, I was up 3-1 in like the 85th minute, and they just turned into absolute gods, even though it's already in the highest difficulty. So, unfortunately, we couldn't get that third win, but... We will keep working. It was like a 63 rated team as well, which is really tough to lose that team. But we are going to also, um, I'm also gonna be staying uh, for this week. I'm not going on the trip that I've been saying in the past uh, couple episodes uh, due to the whole virus that's going around, um, which is very unfortunate. So I've, I, I plead to you, you know, stay safe, try and stay indoors as much as you can. Um, you know, try and kind of just self-isolate, I guess. But we are getting on with squad battles on that kind of somber note. Um, but there isn't really anything I can do, you know. It's, it's kind of tough. So here's the objective squad for the full Brazilians. We're working on those right now. We also have a squad building challenge. So that is going to be open. They just released a Bellerin and then uh, Take 5 was released yesterday. But I didn't end up recording yesterday because I was... I was playing with friends, you, you know, you gotta have a break every once in a while. I was playing online seasons actually, which is actually quite fun to do. Uh, we did end up winning one game, but then we went on to some other games. But um, other than that, they've re released a Ricardo Quaresma and then a Ever Benega. I think he was actually out uh, last episode, you would have seen me. So we've got five packs here. One of them was from the Player Days objective, so it's a rare mega pack for playing 5 games, then 10 games, and 15 games. And I think what they gave me was this premium gold players pack, but that was also in the other recording. So, we are going to be popping open the gold pack first. Can we get anything here? I don't think there's going to be much to this episode. I'm going to open these packs, then I'm going to go through the season objectives, like all of it. Um, so we can see and then I'm going to finish it off. So no gameplay today, unfortunately. Um, but I will try and, you know, feature the squad more. Maybe feature uh, me going through the grind of the icon swaps and stuff like that. But I will also be going through most of the icons, who we could possibly get. Um, and, you know, what combinations are there, if any. We do get a board or walkout. It is an inform. 
Oh no, it's a man of the match. Sweet, sweet, or Switzerland. Okay, it's gonna be Europa League man of the match. I don't know who this guy is. I thought he was Swedish for a second. Campo, 78 rated. Is he tradable? I don't think so, but the thing that caught my eye is just a Dries Adrana guy, which isn't too bad, uh, given that we're kind of in a French League squad, somewhat. Um, but we also get a Shadow. Not bad. It, I wish it would, would be tradable because we would sell it for like 15k, but we do have a Shadow now in the club, untradable if we need it on any center backs anytime soon. So that isn't too bad, bad of a pack. Europa League man of the match and a Dresa guy. Second Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. These are some pretty good packs that we've actually stocked up here. Isn't any really crappy packs like an 81 plus rare player or something like that. Um, but Terrera as well, that's pretty decent. Chris Wilder there as well. Uh, we're just going to sell all the rest. But yeah, now we're getting into the packs that really should be getting us the boards. Um, I think these are the two best packs out of the bunch. But Rare Electrum and then Premium Gold uh, Players Pack. Let's pop up with the Premium Gold Players Pack. Um, can we get a board? It is not going to be. But uh, yeah, so as for promo, like Team of the Week, I think this is going to be the last Team of the Week they're actually releasing until that is good. That is great. Wow. Two Conan Bolt players that can go right into our squad for the objectives. We also get Trippier and Arias, who both would connect to um, Herrera if we want to put him at CDM. So I, that is a great, great pack. Not, you know, rating-wise, we didn't really get any stellar players, but we got players that are going to fit for our teams. Um, but what I was saying is EA, I don't think, aren't going to release a Team of the Week. So... We're looking at promo cards instead of Team of the Week cards on Wednesday, I think. So that is going to be interesting, exciting. We're going to have to see what EA do there as we get another uh, Paris player in Sarabia. So that will be the end of the packs. Anything hiding in between there? Valcal, decent. I will definitely take that. I don't think there's anyone else that we can use here. Uh, but we do get this guy who might, might sell for something because of the Serie A FBC. No, nothing. So that is going to be the end of the packs. I'm going to quickly go through the objectives and maybe some of the icon swaps. And then I'm going to finish off the video. Um, but yeah, this is a big season for us. We got to try and clutch up some of the uh, big rewards and, and uh, big uh, season players and stuff like that. So TFOs right here or stadium themes don't really care. Jumbo Premium 26 pack, that's what usually happens. We have a, Mal, uh, a Maldini and a Del Piero, actually. So we're gonna get a lot of XP for those two. Um, this celebration, don't really care. These badges, don't really care. Jumbo Premium Gold 26 pack, again, a small Prime Gold Players pack. I, this is like the same format, but just different things. It's like, it's the same exact packs, I think, on, this, on the same level. But this is what I like to see, because these are guaranteed players. We're not guaranteed to get the 100k players. I don't think we will again this season, but these are the players that we're guaranteed to get. We have Maeda from the Liga Nos. Gotta say, don't think that's gonna be an option for us. We got Thornsbury, or Thorsby, from the Syria in Sampdoria, who's Norwegian, so he connects to um, Odegaard as well. He looks like a really good card. But then again, just not part of the setup that we have at this moment. And we have Mr. Joss Sargent, the American 86 rated Bundesliga striker. I'm already on board. Stats could be better in some places, but he looks like a really actually quite good player. 89 finishing, um, 80, 89 sprint speed, 93 acceleration, 88 curve I like. 95 agility is really good and 89 heading accuracy is good, but there also are some downsides as well 81 stamina could be a bit better short passing at 79. I don't really like that for my striker, but um, We probably will be taking him then we get uh, some more trash TFOs uh, Another premium gold players pack mega pack uh, King crew Whatever these are just I don't even like these anymore. Just get like badges and TFOs out of the game and give us something that like, I thought it was going to be custom, like, we could actually make some, maybe, but no, it's just stupid, like, it's just stupid badges, and they just get old after a while. I don't really care for them anymore, but Rare Electrum Players Pack after that, more stadium themes, that one's actually cool. Stonework Garden, that's actually cool. Okay. 
I'll, I'll, I'll probably have that. Uh, Prime Gold Players Pack, then another Prime Gold Players Pack. Let's dance, let's see this celebration. No, okay. Not gonna be that. We got the Shire there, it looks like, some wood carving, and then, what, the scene from Harry Potter. Um, rare Players Pack, Boogie Down, let's see this celebration. Okay, again, it's... Whatever, but I, I just don't know. I just don't know. And then we have these, so... I don't think we're gonna get to these, but Fred looks amazing. Probably won't fit into our team. This Bellotti looks very interesting as well. Got 98 finishing, 95 positioning, 90 strength, 91 aggression, 91 jumping, 92 head accuracy, 90 agility, 90 dribbling. This man absolutely looks like an amazing card, and we technically could fit him in with some of the icon icon swaps that are available. And then we have Carrasco. Looks like a good card. Not for me. He does connect to Herrera, however, which I just noticed. That could be a play. However, I don't think we're going to get to that. So unfortunately, that's kind of out of um, out of the range of possibilities. So this is the players, uh, the player days that I was talking about. So the Mega Pack, Prime Gold Players Pack, and then all of it for the Rare Mega Pack. And that gives us like 12, uh, 1,200 SP, uh, XP. This, this gives us, if we decide to do it, another 1,200 SP, XP. Jesus Christ, I can't talk today. This gives us another 1,200 XP. Um, those I can't do, those I can't do. This gives us another 1,200 XP. And then we go on from there. Uh, silver one, I will be finishing that. Silver week one, apologies. And then this gives us 425 XP per thing, and I probably will be able to do both of these. Um, I just have to make sure I am actually using them um, in the right kind of moments. So I don't want to waste their loans like I did with Gerard or something like that. So that is a total of, if I can do math, I think that's a total of 1300 XP. Apologies, I think that's seven, I think that's 1700 XP. I hope I'm right. 1700 XP and then another 1700 XP. So we could actually do decent here. We got 20 XP there. Uh, 20, 20 XP, 20 hundred XP, and then another 2000 XP here. So we're looking good for getting this, uh, you know, probably around where we were last time to the rare players pack, but we just can't, it's like the rare players pack is right here. And this is what we got to last time. It's 20 K to this storyline player. So it is pretty unrealistic, but we will be trying of course to do that. But I think that is going to be all um, for the objectives. Now we're going to quickly go look at some of the combinations that we could do for the icon swaps. Because it's not much, I have to be honest. If they offer another four offline icon swaps, we're looking at these three players. Which doesn't look too tasty, I have to be honest. Yari Lipmanen, decent card. 97 positioning, 95 finishing. I really do like that. And we do need a center attacking mid. That Sabitzer... Um, in our main squad just isn't really cutting it. Maybe we pack that Sabitzer uh, Europa or Champions League man of the match, who knows. But 93 reactions, 93 ball control, 84 dribbling for this card is kind of shocking, I have to be honest. 95 composure, 91 stamina. Agility and balance just aren't that good. Um, but it looks not too bad of a card for only doing offline swaps. Uh, Trezeguet, uh, gotta say, I don't, I don't think this is gonna be it. Um, let's see, is four, four star, four star, six, two. Just doesn't have the pace, 83 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. He's got great shooting stats, 98 in shot power and finishing, 96 um, in positioning, um, and then 99 volleys as well. Looks great. Dribbling at 82 just isn't, isn't that good, but 95 reactions, 90 ball control, 93 heading accuracy. But you look at the agility and stamina at 71 and 60, just, they just don't cut it for the player that I would like to use. So if they do end up offering us only another four of these icon swaps and offline, I think it's going to be probably another midfielder in the Gattuso. So 97 standing tackle, 95 slide tackle, 96 defensive awareness, 97 reactions, 98 aggression, 95 stamina. His physicals, his defending are perfection. Other than that, doesn't look like that tasty of a card. Um, the only other stat outside of 
you know, defending and physical and also a bit of dribbling that's above 85 is that short passing and maybe the composure. Um, so yeah, it, it's a tough choice. Unfortunately, if we could get to nine, I would probably do the prime eye compact because that would just be such a big moment. But that is going to be all for the kind of basic rundown of the new objectives, the new icon swaps and stuff like that. I will see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully with some more content from EA, I'm going to keep grinding. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all for me. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys later.